ola pakalo yarech ngare no kolo pokot kezda poti tutubote kisila rukora itunga la rino sebeim otomano district alamudat akalo na rukore recho koko ibare nengunu luko pokot alai joto muna ringi na kose beim idora ibora kongu keda kongu these were the, the issues that led to all the issues that now led to the communities of Kwen who are working in Amudat uh, to go back home because those ones were angered and you know they, they, they would take the anger to, to the civil servant, uh, servants who are there. Abuda ibore ni toli tole jana kine lode district alamu dat. Nare swama kaglu e po mnyezdara silwe lo munto sarina kosebe. Affected, all departments which were affected majorly were education and health department. Most of our health workers come from Sebe and other districts. Uh, out of the 79 staff in post, 30 come from Sebe sub-region. Easy, because you are like, mm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a being written here. <laughs> For them, somebody who doesn't know their language, maybe he might, they might mistake you know to be so it was a, a nice situation we were even the us who remained we were like uh, kind of uh, anxious eh? too hectic and we can't say that class has not gone well because of that effect you may realize that in, in each class there are over 100 children for example in 53 physics there are over 80 but they could not meet their needs because of the food teachers who were there. Just when the teachers went, we no longer had the normal lessons like the other time. Just to revise and any teacher who is around can come and teach. Kwenye doto manaria mnune tanu wapucho noor. Apoto da tekeri na rinu ochamuta imore nerim. Ido kwa nabongo se choko. Harina kose bei. Aosode te swa makada ngunu luko se bei. Abongun Aswamo district Alamudat. Luckily, the good news is that uh, the cultural requirements that the Sabine of Queen had demanded following the losses they had suffered, the lives they had lost, were also settled last week. Uh, 50 cows were paid by the Pokot of Amuda to the Sabine of Queen together with nine goats, sorry, and one bull which was slaughtered. So According to the Kalenjin culture, the hostility that existed between these two communities has now been uh, amicably settled traditionally with the payment of those cows. And as we talk, I can report confidently that the cows of Amudat are grazing freely in Squam. All the staff who come from Sebe sub region who were taken refuge has come back and they resume their work, work is going normally, nobody is threatened and nobody is feeling scared. However, when they were called back, they all responded, they came back, they are at work, they are doing the work, but you can't tell how much it affected them. So since their issues have been hard and it has been addressed, so to me I think there is nothing to fear. More, we have also engaged uh, the communities who have talked to them to continue coexisting. Eja ngono da ate keringi na kapia ni na don na kapiri piri nyesda baka ba peleta bolu da aisimik luopo court atuboro tomana lupo kokech. Last week again, we received uh, a resolution passed by the leadership of na kapiri piri district uh, headquarters, and they were also expelling again the Pokot of Amudat and uh, we have prayed and appealed to the leadership of Makapiripiri to discard that resolution and allow the Pokot to graze their cows. Godfrey Eyoku, TV East Amudat.